become the Prime Minister. The campaign starts here. Liz Truss in Peterborough today, keen to talk about the cost of living and about the ways she thinks she can make that less painful. What I want to do is put money back into the pockets of hard-working people. I'm here in Peterborough today meeting families who are struggling with the cost of living. That's why we need to reduce national insurance. That's why we need to have a temporary moratorium on the green energy level to reduce people's fuel bills so we can help families, we can grow the economy and we can grow those tax revenues in the right way. Liz Truss is 46. She worked as an accountant before entering politics. She voted Remain, but is now backed by leading Brexiteers. She's the Foreign Secretary as she did not resign from Boris Johnson's government. And she says the country can afford significant early tax cuts. Rishi Sunak is 42. He worked in corporate finance before going into politics. He voted for Brexit. He resigned as Chancellor two weeks ago to challenge Boris Johnson and he says the country must ensure inflation is under control before any big tax cuts. Morning, no actual Mr. events How on camera for Rishi Sunak down? today, just the odd sighting. Fortunately, there's usually an online video. This one, for instance, shows the moment he heard the results of the final round of MPs voting. <laughs> He has picked up the most support from his fellow MPs. Winning the next general election and making Brexit irreversible is so crucial, and the best chance of doing that is for the members to vote for Rishi. It is the party membership who now choose, and here are some of them, young Conservatives, picking their leader. I think that Rishi Sunak is a high-tax Conservative. I want the Conservative Party to actually be Conservative again. And I think that Liz Truss is our best chance. Rishi is being realistic. We do need to get a hold of inflation. And once that is done, then we can cut taxes. If Liz does a good job, she cuts spending, she runs a real Conservative government, and she makes sure that she's uh, going for the kind of Conservative ideas that people really want now, especially the grassroots, she stands a great chance of winning an election. And who do they think is going to win? Liz Truss or Rishi Sunak? Take a good look. One of these will be your next Prime Minister. We could have two women named Liz ruling over this uh, country soon, couldn't we? Andy, how long have Rishi Sunak <laughs> and Liz Truss got to make an impression on people, do you think? Well, Julian, the campaign goes all the way through to September, but talking to both camps, it's striking how they regard the next couple of weeks as absolutely crucial. That's because Conservative Party members will receive their ballots through the post probably in the first week of August, and the experience has normally been that an awful lot of those party members fill those ballots out, vote and send them back very quickly. In other words, they don't wait for a whole campaign to unroll through the whole of August. So, as I say, both sides absolutely clear the next two weeks could be vital.